Hello, it's Brick Bros UK and it's exciting times because we have our first Star Wars Rogue One set review and it's the Lego Star Wars Imperial Assault Hover Tank 75152 and it's the smallest set costing £29.99p, $29.99 and €39.99 and the box graphic looks cool with Chira Imwe taking on the tank down what looks like a backstreet of Jeddah and if we turn over there's lots of images of the play features and accessories so now let's move on and get this cool set built. And here it is and it took us 23 minutes to build and it consists of 385 pieces and you get this cool grey hover tank which has some nice armaments and orange storage container and there's three minifigures, the two Imperial hover tank pilots and Chira Imwe who we've seen in the trailers a lot so he should be popular. And it seems better value than last year's first order snow speeder which also came with three minifigures and a similar build but it cost £10 more and had no named characters. So without stalling any longer, let's check out these minifigures. Now the two Imperial hover tank pilots have these really detailed torsos with new armour printing and it marries up nicely to the black and white armour printing on their legs. And they also have bits of sand on their armour which is a cool touch because they patrol the sandy streets of Jeddah. And our favourite part of these guys is the new to Lego white hover tank pilot helmets which look awesome with the new mould, printed black visor and printing around the mouth. And from the side you can see more of the helmet mould and detailed printing and both pilots carry different weapons because one has the medium blaster and the other a large one. And at the back their good armour printing continues and if we swivel back round and remove their helmets underneath they have the single angry face stormtrooper heads which is a bit disappointing as we felt that Rogue One minifigures didn't deserve this overused head. And that's the two hover tank pilots who look so good with the new helmets and it should please army builders there's two in the set. And next up it's Chira Timwe, who we know is a deeply spiritual warrior monk who believes in the force but doesn't have the ability. He is also blind but this doesn't prevent him from being a highly skilled warrior. And overall from what we've seen of the movie character in the trailers Lego have done a great job turning him into a minifigure especially with its printed black robe torso with the crisscrossing belts he also has the plain black legs that are covered by this dark red and black hip cape and we like this because it adds to his robes. And from the side you can see how the cape goes around his legs and his left hand is white because he wears a white glove. And at the back he has a clip on a neck bracket for his weapons which is handy and behind this the cool row printing continues. And for his hairpiece they went with the black slick back one which is a good fit. And his jewel head's unique with the white eyes to represent he can't see and one face is happy and the other more serious and the headpiece really makes the Chirrut minifigure. And his weapons include Chirrut's bow which is made from a large blaster and clip piece with brown barrel and gold horn pieces for the bow and we think it's cool they made this from pieces like they do with Ninjago weapons and it looks great. And his other weapon is his staff which is created from two reddish brown bars and two gunmetal lightsaber hilts which are a hard colour to come by so it's nice to get these hilts. And now you can clip the bow into his hand and then attach the staff on his back ready to take on the hover tank. Overall it's great Lego put this new hero in the smaller set and Chirrut's printed robes with hip cape look great with his unique head and to arm him with two awesome weapons makes him a must have minifigure. Moving on we have the build, the Imperial Assault Hover Tank. And this grey urban patrol vehicle is quite a good creation and they completely left out stickers so have added lots of different pieces all over its armour to build up its texture and we like that creative idea. And if we start at the front it's got these two armoured pieces that stick out either side with plates stuck on sideways to create a grilled look and in the centre you can see the grey dual barrel blaster with spring loaded missiles either side which we will show in action later on. And above this section is the angled armour plate with tiles and grill pieces adding to its look and to the right they clipped on a black round tile and dark grey one upside down below it to create an open hatch and it's crude but a nice idea. And if we move further up we have the tank's top hatch area which is simply created with a grey round plate and smaller dark grey one. And to the left of this they clipped on a piece to hold a blaster as a sort of turret weapon and you can clip in a blaster and the pilot behind to make it and it's a nice extra armament. But it's a shame a minifigure can't man it half sticking out of the tank. And because the hatches they added are for show, to get inside the front plate flips forward and the top plate opens to the left which gives you plenty of room to see inside. 
and sadly the inside does let the tank down because it's so bare and maybe a sticker control panel would have been nice to see. But they did add two red lights and you can fit in both pilots which is a plus and one sits by these lights right at the front and the other slides in behind and then you can close up the hatches ready to search for rebels. And for even more weaponry the hover tank has these two elevating turret guns either side and they clip to these dark grey round pieces and are created from black technic pieces and two grey barrels. So there's nothing special about them but they move which is great for play and they look okay. And just behind each turret gun is a tiny dark grey cog and when you turn each one it fires its spring loaded missile we saw at the front and it's very sensitive so you don't need to turn it much. And now you can drive in and blast Chirrut again and again which is pretty fun to do. And if we come round the side and back is quite plain but it looks okay with the jumper plates, mix of bricks and the same sort of armoured pieces that stick out at the back which we saw at the front. But what really stands out amongst the grey is this orange and black storage container and if we remove that you can see the back better with the dark grey plates, grill pieces and black stud plates where the container clips on and it all adds to its look. And you can clip the container further up and stick the pilots or spare troopers you might have on the sides if they need a ride, which adds to play. Now the orange and black storage container adds colour to the set and it's interesting they added it in with its sloped sides and the top piece comes off to reveal the small blaster and binoculars inside, which are cool extras to get along with all the other weapons. And you can unclip the container so that pilots can take their equipment on foot and the black bar pieces on each end are handles so they can carry it and it's something different for play. And finally you can move the tank forwards and backwards very easily thanks to the clear wheels underneath. And they have used these before on the first order snow speeder and it works but we prefer slider plates because it can't move sideways but it does give the hover tank a cool hovering look and it's great to push around in battle. On a final note the Lego Star Wars Imperial Assault hover tank is a really reasonably priced set for free minifigures and the cool tank build. And it's great you get two pilots with these new helmets and to add in Chirrut who looks awesome with his row printing and weapons means you can stage your own Empire vs Rebel battle from this small set which is great for fans and playability. And the tank has a very cool design and maybe needs a sticker control panel but we still like its look and the movable turrets and shooting spring loaded missiles and a container all add to play. And if we were to change one area we might replace the wheels underneath for slider plates because it's restricted to forwards and backwards movement but it's still okay and because we love this set Brick Bros UK is giving it a brick rating of 5 out of 5 bricks and it's well worth getting. Hope you enjoyed a Brick Bros UK review, don't forget to check out our channel for more LEGO reviews and like, comment and subscribe to Brick Bros UK.